Out of all of the desktop electronics, although they all have their own problem, there seems to be one appliance that always demands your extra attention. Error after error, no connection, out of ink, paper jam, mandatory restarts, printing errors. Some printers seem to make it a goal to impede your work. Sometimes, you just, you just wanna... To understand how to fix these issues, let's first try to understand how these machines work. There are two main types of printers. First is the inkjet, which works by ejecting ink onto a piece of paper through hundreds of tiny extruders forming a picture out of dots, which individually are invisible to the naked eye, similar to the pixels on a computer screen. The second type is the laser printer, which works by using the laser to negatively charge your roller in the pattern of what is to be printed. The then negatively charged parts of the roller attract the positively charged powdered ink and press the print design onto a piece of paper. Printers, although it seems that they may only have one job, to print out pieces of paper, they are actually a complex combination of many technologies and networks. Most modern printers must first wirelessly receive a document, convert it into a format the printer can read, load a piece of paper which can vary in flexibility, friction and thickness, extrude different colors of ink onto the paper, and finally, push out the completed page. In addition to all of these complex functions, many printers also come equipped with scanning and faxing capabilities which must be worked into the interface. With all of this added up, it becomes easy to see why printers often fail. They must constantly work with a whole range of different interfaces to produce a product that can be ruined by only the smallest of errors. To lighten the load on your printer and hopefully reduce future errors, a few precautionary steps you can follow are, when you first buy your printer, make sure you select the model that best suits you. Inkjets work well for printing pictures on many different types of paper, but if left unused for large stretches of time, their water-based ink can dry, causing a whole host of problems. Laser printers are best used for quickly printing text, but are typically more expensive than inkjets. You should always use the right type of paper for your printer, and avoid keeping it in wet environments, as humidity can cause the paper to stick together and will inhibit the printer's ability to load individual sheets. It is best to use the name brand ink for your printer, because some third-party inks can cause many issues while printing. Staying up to date on all new drivers is always a good idea to help your printer communicate and read from devices that it will be working with. Your printer is a combination of electrical and mechanical components that at times do not work well together. But next time you have an issue, think of all the complex functions and inner network communication that takes place to print out one simple page, and maybe you will have a little bit more patience to troubleshoot and fix any problems that you may encounter.